you know, Layla and Nikki, mm-hmm. um, they seem to have a passion and want to get to know more about it. I think one, Layla, Layla was studying Harriet Tubman, and Nikki was studying Rosa Parks. So, you know, to be so young and to be so, you know, interested in, in our history, you know, I think is very cool. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think it's very important, too, that we're, in, we're, we're interested in th- our immediate history, like the, our family, you know, what came before us, who came before us, and what they did, and what they represented. Because, you know, that go a long way, mm-hmm. you know. I mean, it could be good things. It could be bad things. You know, it could be those generational curses that you're like, oh, whoa, this is why yeah. I'm doing this? Well, yeah, why am okay, I doing this? Okay, I got I to I do better. I, gotta, I, can't, I can't do this. I can't live this way. I can feel it in the air. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a good day. I'm starting to really believe that communication is the key. I think communication is the key. We need to start communicating. Let's just start communicating more. Let's have more. Yo, 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 Team Jackson, what's up? It's your boy Ty. It's your girl Shara. And we're back with another one, y'all. What's good? What's going on? Hey, you guys, before we start, I'm gonna let you know what we're eating right now. Hopefully I can recall, you know, the actual names of it. But this is um, hibachi vegetables and rice here. This is um, soup, some soup, soup broth. I'm not sure which one it is. Salad with ginger dressing. This is vegetable tempura. This is the avocado roll. And also, it's another roll, but I can't remember what it's called. Vegetables. Um. It's, a, it's a vegetable roll. And then we have um, a vegetable oh, spring roll yeah. over there. As well, and that is it, you guys. All right, well, see. Lord, we thank you for this food. We're about to receive for the nourishment of our body. In Yeshua's name we pray, amen. Hey, you guys, make sure you subscribe, like, share, and comment, and click on that post notification bell so that you'll be notified every time we post a video. For sure, for sure, for sure. So let's get into this. What's going on, people? So what's good with y'all? Um, I'm, 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 am I supposed to... um? You want some rice and stuff? I think I took a little bit. Not too much. I, you said something about me eating this. Yeah. I'm like, am I supposed to eat this with a fork? Oh, snap, Sniggy. You are mad. I'm prepared. You're going to beat me good. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your bowl over there so I can get some rice. I need some of those fresh veggies, too. Yeah, you're going to get that, too. Don't shout change it, bro. I'm not going to shout change you. Well, I'm just trying to not to make a mess. That's what I'm trying to do. Cause you know how that goes. Rice flicking everywhere. You need a um, spoon for that? No, I, I I think I got it. Actually under control. Under control this time. Because so they kind of packed the rice in there. I'm going to have to lift the bowl. That's some fried veggies right there. Fried veggies. Yeah, I'm going to try it. Vegetable tempura. I'm going to let you see so you can see how much, if, if you if that's enough or you want more. Oh, that's plenty. Yeah, because look, because they pack it in there so much that it's yeah, hard to I, tell. I don't want that much, but that's fine. Okay. It's hard to tell um, how much it is. How y'all doing um, during this Rona experience? <laughs> that's spreading everywhere. Nobody's wearing masks when everybody out. You guys, please wear your mask as much as possible because I think it'll help to end this quicker. You know, if we all wear it, you know, I some I understand sometimes like, I have a hard time breathing wearing it. Sometimes I get it. It's not the most comfortable thing, especially if you're a woman. You put your makeup on, and then you put the mask on right after you put your makeup on. You know. <laughs> yeah. It kind of defeats the purpose because your your whatever you put on your face gets kind of smeared up, but. I really believe that if we all um, tackle this thing head first, it'll probably be over a lot quicker, you know. You know, so I, I get why people kind of like tired of it, but we got to do what we have to do to be done with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be done with it. What's up with you, Ty Jackson? I'm good. I'm chilling. Chilling? Yeah. Hmm. Chilling, chilling, chilling. This is good. I don't know what see, broth seasoning they use. This is good. Really? Mm-hmm. It's like the vegetables on the bottom. Mm-hmm. I could taste them. Um, 
Hey, how many of y'all out there keep up keep the bowls like this? <laughs> comment down below. <laughs> yeah, comment down below. Y'all keep these little containers like this from yeah. like Japanese places mm -hmm. or Chinese wherever. They got the white ones too, y'all. So any of them. <laughs> yeah, y'all let us know if y'all be rocking these junks. Sure do. Taking them things to you work. You been throwing away? You been throwing away? What? I'm just playing. No play. It's a perfectly good container. I'm about, to, I'm about to get haired up in here, y'all. <laughs> we need Tupperware for just about to, get, <laughs> about to get your boy. It's free. So you can use it for something, y'all. Because even if you only use it one more time. Cause I've seen a lot of people use it like when you have leftovers mm -hmm. at their house. Mm -hmm. So that way you don't have to bring it back. Just give them those containers and then that's it. You don't have to worry about getting them back at all. Especially since they were free. I'm gonna try this fried veggie. It look interesting, don't it? Oh, that's a piece of broccoli. That's broccoli, yeah. Is that an onion right there? It's an onion, and that look like a what is that? Zucchini. It could be a green onion, a long that, that green like onion, an right there. Or asparagus, one. Yeah, this is broccoli. Right? Mm -hmm. I've never seen anything like this before in my life, y'all. I thought I wanted to try it. Can't go wrong with broccoli that's fried. Yeah, fried broccoli. I could just eat regular broccoli. Really same. Yeah, cause it ain't the batter don't have no flavor on it, so you just pretty much eating calories right now. Wow. If you think about it. I thought at least the well, you know, they batter don't be having them. It ain't like mm -mm. you taking it off, ain't you? Mm -hmm. It's just bread, ain't it? Yeah, well, I'm gonna eat all this bread for nothing. Man, mm -hmm. take this off of here. Yeah. You talking about what's I good with me? What's good with you? No, I'm just chilling, you know, minding my business. <laughs> mm. I don't like it. You do? Mm -mm. That's your dish, ain't it? Your mm -hmm. main dish. Uh oh. I don't like maybe, that. Maybe you should have taken something else. Maybe you should try. I should got shrimp. Tempura. Well, you know that probably been good. Mm-hmm. I don't like that, y'all. Tastes like a, you took some flour and put it on the broccoli, battered it, and put in some grease. Didn't put no seasoning no on it. No seasoning on it. They probably, they probably depended on the soy sauce to do the work, but the consistency isn't good either, y'all. I'm just telling you. Like, so, I don't like it. These avocado rolls taste like avocado rolls. Oh yeah, that's sweet um tofu. That's what that is. Where? Oh. That's what that is. That's where I forgot right now. Mm-hmm. When I ordered it, she said, we don't have that. For real. I said it's on your menu. Really? We don't have that. We got sweet we have sweet potatoes. I said, no, it says sweet. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Then she finally remembered. She was like, oh yeah, we have it. <laughs> Maybe it's just not popular, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you supposed to eat it with anything? I think you're supposed to put it in, um, soy so sauce. probably soy sauce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is that wrapped around it? like rice. Y'all, we experimenting today, y'all. It looks like it's the tofu wrapped around. It is the tofu right around some rice. Mm -hmm. How's it? <laughs> it's 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 sweet. It ain't. It's not bad. Maybe if it was a little warmer, it's not. It's not bad. I'm, I'm gonna mm -hmm. eat it. Mm. There's just a lot a lot of bread. It's like you said, a lot of mm -hmm. carbs and calories. Yeah, this is just like. This is not good. Not good. Trying to eat a vegetable filled lunch, you guys. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. You got a lot of food, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, you saw that? All mine is just this and this, right? Well, that ain't even mine. I, I got that from you. Mm 
just this. Wait, no. That? Yeah, that's it. It's this and um, the egg roll things. Oh, yeah. So I, I had like a, a really small lunch. This is all your stuff. Mm-hmm. You can help me eat this. No, I'm good. At least you, at least you made you made you made the table look legit. So hey, mm -hmm. for my little mess, we wouldn't even be able to be able to table it <laughs> after we started the yeah, video. We just have call it something else instead of a moot ball and call it like snacks and conversation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of snacks, you guys, you know we really trying to. Um, get some weight off so you might see some interesting items as we go along this journey you know y'all might come to the table with some chicken breast and some broccoli one day so I ain't the chicken out of Tupperware guy 18 times a day I typically I do one big meal so when y'all see me eating as much uh oh Again, <laughs> as much as y'all see me eating, usually it's just That's that one meal. meal. The main meal, yep. And I'm not a small, a small guy. So a lot of times I'm banking calories pretty much. Mm -hmm. Or at a caloric deficit. Mm -hmm. And I'm being a little more active now, too. So. Right. Mm -hmm. I thought about this um this story I might share with, with them. We might we might share it in the form of a skit. Okay. Is it one of them things we just gonna follow your lead or we gonna It well it's cause what happened? I mean, we can't get a story away because you got to tell it, but, I mean, this won't is what I'm saying, but, mm -hmm. um, my dad, I think I told you about it, we broke, um, broke his chair, mm -hmm. one day, one day during the summer when we were young, very young, and how we played that thing off, it's hilarious. Look, put comment down below, if you've broken something in the house, that to this day, uh, until you admitted that you did it, they didn't. They, nobody knew who did it. <laughs> That's us all day. I, I got a lot of them stories. We used to have to line up though. Like we wouldn't. They didn't know it was broken because he thought he broke it. Your dad thought he broke it, right? At the end of the day. I don't think my dad even realized it was broken. I think we kind of put it back together enough. To, yeah, but didn't he sit in it and break, and then it broke? Or am I thinking about something else? You know what? I think I think he did. I got I got to ask my brothers. And yeah, sisters cause about I think he I said that he together. he sat in the chair. Eventually. I think so. I think so. <laughs> but he thought he broke the chair mm -hmm. when y'all broke the chair. Because it was one of them single chairs with like the little four legs. Mm -hmm. You know them old school joints. We used to have the lineup. We used to be like it was almost like you would not you couldn't. I'm not gonna call it imprisonment, but it was almost like you couldn't leave until somebody admitted. Oh, really? It. Give, somebody give me an example. Broke give me an example. It. Okay. Let's say someone broke the lamp, okay? Which I can't remember exactly what happened. Well, we've had it a couple of times. All of us would come in there lined up. Clayton was too young at the time, for, you know, to be included. So it was me, Javelle, and AJ. Who broke the lamp? Nobody will say nothing. And a lot of times it was JaVel, but JaVel would just wouldn't admit it. <laughs> and we were standing there for a long time, and then they threatened if somebody don't admit it, everybody, everybody going to get a whooping. And then eventually, I, I mean, That's really wrong, though, if you really break it down. But then what would happen? That's like saying, if, if y'all don't tell me who threw the rock, all y'all going to jail. Oh, y'all going to jail, yeah. What? Well, yeah, it's not right. And, but it was one of those I things. I get it as a parent, though. Yeah, it's one of those things, right, because somebody had to be accountable. Somebody right. did. It's like, 
and it's like, and then if, if somebody, if everybody didn't get wood, it would, it's, it's a bad thing because your hands are tied. Somebody, the person that did it has to get punished. You want some more or something? I'm just sitting here watching you waste all these onions. Mm -hmm. The person you don't that like onions, do you? Not that, that much. Um, the person that did it had to be punished because they could not punish anybody because the person that did it would think that they could get away with everything. So it was one of those things as a parent, as a hard decision to make. But what would happen is they would walk away, and I think they knew what they were doing. And then we'd be in there, it'd just be us, and then we'd be in there like, look. You better tell, we're going to tell you. You better yeah. tell who did it. I know I didn't do it. And I know, and then, you know, whoever said they did and, you know, they'll say, I didn't do it, whatever. And then we'd be like, JaVale, we know you did it. And then, of course, by the time my parents got back in there, they knew the truth as far as who did, <laughs> who did whatever. JaVale, man. JaVale was you know, something else. Chain up every now. Report card day. There's another story. What happened on report card day? I used to always make good grades. So report card day. Back then, you know, my brothers would beg me. They would say, "Shaw, please do not show your report card when you get in the house." So I wouldn't show it because I was like, "Okay, if I show my report card, that means they're gonna get in trouble." But then my dad huh. knew. The about the report cards. I don't know how he knew about it. I don't know if he, like, um... I mean, you know. It was a calendar or... Yeah, but... And then, you know, you got friends at work. Kids mm -hmm. at the same school. And he would be in the... What would he say? That would be so funny. And I can't remember if he was... Bring the cards. Retired. <laughs> I can't remember if he was retired or what. But right when you walked in the house, there was this little office he was in. And so, he was home that day. And we walked in the door, hey, you know, of course we had, like, we didn't have the card. And he was like, bring me the cards. Bring the cards here. And, we're, and then my brother's like, oh, man. <laughs> man. And I'm pretty sure, I can't remember what they had on there, but pretty sure D's and F's. Like, my report card was good, but. <laughs> Took me on home, man. <laughs> and I hate to say this, though. When I, had a, when I turned my report card in, you know what I did? I was like this, like like this. Here you go. You know, I was half proud of myself. <laughs> what are your brothers doing? And then, <laughs> they were walking in there like, like the walkers, like, oh, Lord Jesus, what's going to happen next? I used to feel, but I used to feel for them too. I was like, oh, man, what's going to happen? That's how I felt. What is going to happen? Mm. I was good though. Bring me the card. And then it was interesting. It was like, what are you doing here? Well, no one will get home from school. <laughs> <laughs> He's not there. He's working or something. We normally beat him home, but that day he was home. So who got in trouble at that time? AJ and Javel. Both of them? Mm -hmm. They both caught a bad, bad, car, bad report card. They both did. And what's so bad is, it got to the point that my parents just wanted to see an improvement. Like, the grades won't even... All right, you got a D? Okay, all right. All right. <laughs> you got a D. All right. I see some progress. Last time you had F. But they made it easy for me because I remember one semester my grades went down a little bit. I didn't have Ds or Fs or anything, but it went down from normal. And I didn't get a hard time about it. How could you? Yeah. I'm sorry. You know... You're going to make an A's, so a couple of B's, you know. Mm -hmm. Now you come in here with this B minus. They ain't going to have it. Uh, uh, now they be looking at your brothers with F. I know. You know what it made me think of on the Cosby show? Who, who was it? Was it, um, it was it Denise? Did somebody did something wrong. And Theo was, like, trying to reason with them. And he was saying, hey. Don't tell mom and dad about what you're doing because oh, yeah. I'm trying to do something. I'm, it was um. Which one was it? It was Denise. What was it? What she got? Like it was gonna ruin him trying to go somewhere, like a trip or something. Or was it him trying to get a car or something? Or an apartment or a car or something? Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember, but I know what you're talking about. Mm hmm. She was like, "Ma'am, you about to mess up my my flow." Like for me, it was more like they, like I wasn't the center of attention. <laughs> 
they they had some hope when you when your grades fell. So your grades fell with C's. Mm-hmm. C's. They gave him some hope. Hand me that uh, that T I left over there. Mm-hmm. Can't reach it. Mm-hmm. I had C's one time and stuff. All the young people out there, get good grades now. Get good grades. Yeah. I'm telling you, that'll that'll um, that'll definitely. And when I say get good grades, it's mainly not even about your grades in school. It's about that discipline to learn. Because there's a lot of successful people that don't actually go get a formal education. Yeah. It's just that they have the discipline to read read books and. Yeah, see, see, you know, self, self, self educate. Mm-hmm. You, but you can't. It's just like any situation you go, you go in. I, I encourage. Okay, if you go and work at Wendy's, mm-hmm. go kill it. Kill it when you're Wendy's. If you're gonna work, you know what I'm saying. Whatever it is, just try to, you know, just be the best. Because whatever foot you put, you put forward in, in in any situation is gonna be the same foot you put forward in the next. Mm-hmm. So you may say, well, I tell you what, if I was working for a law firm, I, no, you would still be the same sorry person, <laughs> not showing up on time. As soon as you get a chance, I think you can get mm-hmm. away with it. So, you know, it's Build what your- you're doing. It's integrity, what you're doing when nobody's watching. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Build your character. It's all, you know, so mm-hmm. she said, do, you, do your thing. And it'll lead, it'll lead and, and, and train you for better. Not not like, I mean, our brother, uh, her brothers are, are successful. But you know, they're just late bloomers, you know, <laughs> to success. They're really, because one of the hardest things I think in 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 being in a high school environment is seeing the significance, and I think that's important for us as parents to instill that in our children. I really didn't see the significance in what I was doing at the time. Right. I feel like I would have had straight A's, like if I knew what. Oh yeah, I got you. You know what it meant. To, to have a certain work ethic right. or to um, be consistent or to work hard, that could have changed my life. I'm not saying I had to necessarily go to Harvard, but if I had this like thing in me that was like, I'm going to do my best, I'm going to do that, that would have, there's no telling where I'd be in life um, n- right now. You know, a lot better, I think. I think we're pretty decent, but I'm talking about we could be a lot better. I understand. But, yeah, it's it's. And same here. You you have you look back at those opportunities, and when you when you learn and you know what we know now, then you say, "Dang, mm-hmm. man! If I had another chance to go back and absorb this or absorb that, or or you know to create this or create that, then you know you know. I mean, that's I guess that's well, I ain't gonna say it's everybody, but it's a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Those those um black. Whenever you have black history, I was so upset with myself. I did not yeah. absorb. Like, cause remember they would have didn't was didn't we have a black was Miss Brehan's what was her class Miss Brehan? Uh, it was history. It was a history class, mm-hmm. but she did a lot of black history in there. Yeah, I but mean she, she did it when she could, but it was history. It was history. Was well, the U.S. It was U.S. history, but yeah. I but, think it was U.S. history. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so now, when I look back now, I'm like, I wish those moments, especially being an African American person, mm-hmm. I wish that I embraced our history a lot more and absorbed it and took it in a lot more because of what it meant. But at the time, just I, I didn't understand what that meant. You know, I was just more and like I, you know, trying I, to graduate um, or whatever. I, I taught, I give the kids a person per day every every February, you know, every Black History Month. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and of course it goes further than just that month, but what it does is we use that month because everybody's talking about it. The school is talking about it, different situations. You know they're seeing that, so it gives it gives them a little fuel, and um, they seem to have you know Layla and Nikki, mm-hmm. um, they seem to have a passion and want to get to know more about it. I think one Layla Layla was studying in Harriet Tubman, mm-hmm. and Nikki was studying in Rosa Parks. So you know to be so young and to be so you know interested in in our history, you know I think is very cool, mm-hmm. and uh, I think it's very important too that we're in, we're we're interested in. Our immediate history, like the, our family, you know, what came before us, who came before us, and what they did, and what they represented, because you know that go a long way. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, it could be good things, it could be bad things. You know, it could be those generational curses that you like. Oh, whoa, this is why yeah. I'm doing this. Yeah, yeah why? Am okay, I got, I got, I got to do better. I got, I can't, I can't do this. I can't live this way. You know, because um, I see the cycle. They say my great great granddad was just like this, and then they say my great uh, my great granddad, and then I saw my granddad, and you know my pops, and 
man, I'm going down. You know, you you, know, you, you, you can see that stuff, but if you don't don't know a lot of that, especially mm-hmm. as us, you know, uh, a lot of families don't have a lot of history. If the people have died, you know, there was a lot of secrets mm-hmm. back then, and you don't really know. You don't you talk about connected anything. Connected to you don't talk about anything. You better not ask. So, you know. I think that's important. So. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Our media history because it can it can really shape your life to, you know, and that's one thing that's kind of cool about it because you can have a like they use this. This is a, an example. You can have a parent. Let's say you have a parent that is on drugs or something like that. You can do one or two things. You can repeat what they're doing, or you can take that experience and say, "Hey, I mm-hmm. I want nothing to do with yeah. it, and it'll never happen again." <clears throat> and that's why it's important to understand your history too, because because a lot of mistakes we made can really be avoided if we are open and honest about what we've done and share it with our kids. Because he tries to do that a lot, like with the real world with um the kids, he tries to tell them like, look, been Man, there, done that. Do you guys don't have to learn by mistake. Right. You really don't have to. If you're gonna that's make a mistake, way. make another one that has you know that, that hasn't been. <laughs> That you haven't heard about, heard or about, seen. and seen, but the ones we've experienced, Don't y'all shouldn't experience those at all. Mm-mm. So, but it's all good. Yeah, y'all. So we that you you may need to take that um, and put it in the oven, and it's some adobo or something like just to give it a chance. But or, yeah. or, or it may be trash. I mean, or I, 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 I know got, I don't. Really I could put it in the um, um, air fryer. Air fryer. There you go. Mm-hmm. And make it crispy. Yeah, that's, that's probably the, one. That's probably what it is because it, it feels it's, like it's not cooked enough. Like it's not soggy. hard enough. Yeah. yeah. Good point. So yeah, that'll that'll this stuff will get eaten. Um, I will probably munch on that salad, but uh, we just want to stop and hang with y'all a little bit today. Um, we hope everybody's doing great. We thank you guys. We appreciate you guys. Keep spreading the word, y'all. Keep telling your family, your friends. You know the numbers. It's, it's climbing. It's climbing. We're trying to get there. We're, we're a very young channel. Just thank you for being on the team, being part of the family. And um, as this grows, I think um, some some pretty good things can 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 manifest from it. And um, it'll be a lot of positivity, you know, and God will be able to get the glory out of it. So, yeah, y'all, uh, we like to have a little fun and, and a lot of fun. And we we understand balance, too, and sitting down and just having real-life conversations. So we might be doing that with y'all from time to time, just like this turned into. We don't plan this stuff, y'all. We just sit down and we just eat because we got to eat and we talk to y'all. And uh, we hope this blesses somebody. So, um Again, thank you guys. So y'all make sure y'all subscribe, like, share, and comment. Like we said earlier, hit that post notification bell so you'll be notified every single time we drop in a video, y'all. We appreciate y'all. We're going to get up out of here. We hope y'all enjoy the rest of your day. Team Jackson, peace and love. I'm starting to really believe that communication is the key. I think communication is the key. We need to start communicating.